Hi, um, I just wanted to talk today a little bit about how to read Jurgen Moltmann. So if you watched my last video, um, I talked about a few points of um, Moltmann's theology. I talked about three points in his theology that are worth worth knowing. Um, but the goal of that video was ultimately to get you to read Moltmann for yourself. And so in this video, I just want to discuss some of the literature on Maltman. Um, unfortunately, there's not been a ton about him, but um, some of the books about Maltman and then ultimately the books that Maltman has written himself. Um, that, I, that I will recommend. So the first one I typically recommend to people, I don't have a physical copy, so I can't hold it up for you, but it's called The Way of Jesus Christ. And um, that is his Christological book. Um, it's part of his dogmatic series, Contributions to Systematic Theology, which is an excellent series um, in itself, um, but it can be quite dense. But the, the volume on Christology, I think, gives you a good center point for understanding Maltzman. It's a really good entry point for his work. Because not only are you getting uh, more of Maltman's um, understanding actually of Christology, but you get a lot of everything else mixed in there too. So it's a good beginning point as well. Now alongside that book, there's the book uh, Jesus Christ for Today's World, which is a shorter book and a little bit easier to understand. And if you're a little bit daunted by the way of Jesus Christ, I'd say uh, Jesus Christ for Today's World is an excellent book to start with. Um, it's one of my favorites by Maltman. It's a really good um just overview of a lot of his thought. Of course, it's it's focus. It has a lot of the, it, it kind of will get dip your toe into a lot of the main themes that he talks about quite often. Um, now, in addition to those, there is of course the um, the main text that he's known for. There is the Crucified God, which is just phenomenal. It's an excellent book. It, it can be a bit dense. Um, it's an earlier book by him, um, but it's it's really good. Um, now, uh, just before I go on, I want to mention that Theology of Hope is one he's known for as well. That's kind of his most difficult book, I'd say. So it's not necessarily one I'd say to, to dive into right away. There's certainly some very important stuff there to know and to read. Um, but he really fleshes out a bit more of what he means by that book in some of his later texts. So I typically would say that that's a book you shouldn't rush to um, because it can be quite dense. Um, obviously, there, there, you should read it if you really, really are interested in Maltman, um, but it wouldn't be the first one I'd recommend picking up. Um, that's not the same I would say for The Crucified God. I would say this is the book I started with with Maltman. I think it's a great book to start with um, and to go back to after you've read some other ones because there's a lot of depth to it. Um, alongside that, there's another text that he wrote called uh, The Church and the Power of the Spirit. Um, that kind of forms an early trilogy for him, and that one's really fascinating for some of his contributions to how church life can be constructed, as well as his doctrine of the Holy Spirit. Um, now, the, the next book I recommend, Jesus, The Trinity and the Kingdom. This is another of those books that I talked about in my video. So, obviously, it does talk about the Trinity in here, but there's just really so much that's in this. Um, and if I'd have to pick one, I'd say this is probably my favorite book by Maltman, just because of all the just stuff it covers. And, and when I was kind of reading his stuff, this is the one that stuck out to me as just being really profound and really good. Um, so I really like this book. Um, I think it's approachable enough that you could pick it up and read it. It is dense, of course. All of his works tends to be. Um, there's a few shorter books that he's written that are kind of... Um, approachable versions of some of these books, um, but I do think just reading them straight is, is a good, great way. Now, a book that kind of complements that one quite well, I really enjoyed this one, History and the Triune God. It's not as well known, but I really like this book because it, it complements well uh, the Trinity and Kingdom, so it's a good book for that. Um, the other one I recommend is, of course, The Coming of God. That's Maltman's Eschatology, um, Eschatology Proper where he's actually getting into the questions of um, the eschaton and what it looks like. Um, so it's a really beautiful book. Um, it is, of course, quite dense, but it's very good. A complimentary volume to that one is the book called In the End, The Beginning. It's a much shorter book, but that one's maybe a little bit easier to grasp, so I'd recommend that one as well. Um, and then two later texts I'd recommend. Um, Maltman's later theology is, is, is fascinating and really beautiful. Um, it... I'd, I'd say that the spirit of life kind of the book the spirit of life kind of uh, emphasizes a shift in his thinking and it is culminated in these two books as well so the living god and the fullness of life another newer book that he's come out with it's really good um, and then this is one of his latest ones in english at least the spirit of hope 
Uh, so both of these are just great, uh, very approachable books. So I'd say even among the other ones, of course, I'm partial. I like those books a bit more um, just because they have a bit more depth to them. But if you just want to kind of dip, dip your toe in into the waters of Maltman's Thought, these two are excellent, kind of more pastorally focused books. Um, and like I said, The Spirit of Life is another great one. I don't, again, have a physical copy of that. Um, but that one's really transformative and, and really good. It, it works a lot with his doctrine of the Holy Spirit. And so with that said, we can talk some of the secondary literature. Um, two really good books by Richard Bachman are highly recommended. Um, this is the earlier one, um, Maltman, Messianic Theology in the Making. So I really like this one. This is great. Uh, this is a bit more thorough, the theology of, of Jürgen Maltman. Um, but this one's also great. So both of these are great books just for a very scholarly introduction and, and overview of Maltman's work. Another great one is The Pilgrimage of Love. Um, this one's just really fascinating. Does a lot of really cool stuff in it. Um, and so I can recommend this one quite highly. And then, of course, I can't help but recommend my own book. Um, my book, Jürgen Maltman and Playing English, just tries to dissect each of his books, each of his works in a um, clear and approachable way. So if you're typically um, intimidated by some of the academic theology that's out there, some of the jargon and stuff, I try to be as plain as possible. And as the title says, just explain Jürgen Maltman's theology in plain English. Um, so I can't help but recommend my own book. I mean, why not? Um, I think it's a decent book. So, um, yeah, so that's what I say about Jürgen Maltman. There's really a lot of um, va different streams you could could kind of dive into with Maltman's work. So I don't think you can really go wrong with any of his books, just picking them up. I, I, I'd say it really just depends on your interest. But I will say my first recommendation would be either Jesus Christ for Today's World or The Way of Jesus Christ for Diving In. Um, but you really can't go wrong with any of them. Um, he, he, he has a bit of a clarity to his work that I think a lot of other theologians are missing. There's kind of this poetic tendency to him um, where he, he isn't as... Um, some, some obscure as some theologians kind of tend to be. Um, so I think he's very approachable. He's a very readable theologian. And I think that speaks to uh, his popularity as well as to why he's been uh, read so widely by so many people. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I will link all of those books below in the, co in the uh, description. So feel free to check all those out. Um, and good luck reading Maltman and have a great day.